Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Sajay, today, let's just do a general reading, baby. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's up, what's been going on, what's going down, what's coming through. Let's talk about you and see what's going on in your life today. Spirit guides, what up with the Sagittarius Collective? What are we talking about today? What's going down? Whoa, what do we got here? Ooh, clean it up. I'm flexible. All right, this is about thinking outside the box. This is about maybe doing things differently. This is about being flexible. So let's see, let's see. Clean it up is letting something go. So, you know, sweeten the, you know, this little moose has a, um, a broom, <laughs> a little brain fart there. So it's cleaning it up, letting something go, sweeten something behind you. Let's talk about it. Let's see what's up. Let's go on down. So your guys talk to us. Ooh, we have the emperor taking control. Could be dealing with an emperor. Let's see what we got here. So we have the three of pentacles in reverse. Okay. And we have the emperor. Well, we might have a difficult person here in your life, Sag. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Let it go. Okay, let's see. We have the Five of Pentacles. That was a really bad rendition of that, but that was like, let it go from Frozen. <laughs> That's what that was. All right, we got the Two of Cups, baby. We got some harmony coming through. Whoa, we got the Lovers. We have a big choice here. We have the Ace of Wands. All right, all right. And the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Swords. All right, let's get down to business. So the three pentacles in reverse um, kind of represents a lack of cooperation, a lack of harmony. I'm going to make the assumption it has something to do with this emperor because emperors can be kind of difficult. They can be kind of stuck in their ways. They can be uh, very rigid, not flexible at all. So you might have to be the one that kind of, well, let's see, what's the three of pentacles in reverse? What's this disharmony? What's this lack of cooperation? Queen of swords. You might have to put your foot down here, Sajay. Magician, wow, this is definitely about communication here. Three of Cups, Eight of Wands. So, you know, the Queen of Swords and the Magician here clarifying the Three of Pentacles in reverse is definitely, it's going to be either a partnership, a teamwork environment, you got a group of friends, or somebody that's being difficult in your life. They're making things a little bit difficult for you. They could be just very rigid, stuck in their ways, being stubborn. Um, you know, the emperor is very much a stuck in their way kind of guy or girl. The queen of swords and the magician is all about clear, concise communication. Uh, I don't think you're too happy with this person here because the queen of swords, you know, is not the happiest. Um, but she's being logical. She's being practical. She's creating a plan. So it's like an energy of not giving this person um, certain. Well, let me say this. You're going to have to put your big girl boy or panties on and be the one to take the step to man up, to woman up. I don't know how else to say that. This person's not going to do it. That's why they're telling you to do this. So whatever this resolve is, whatever this conflict is with this person, the situation, it is going to fall on you here, Sag, to communicate maybe differently, think outside the box, go about it differently. And it's just realizing you're the magus. You have all the tools, the resources within yourself here to resolve this conflict. Um, but it is going to take you know, patience and determination on your end here. The five of swords is an energy of, of, of realizing that it's kind of like a pick your battle. It's like, if you continue to argue or continue to go down this road, let's say this is a work thing and you got some very difficult coworkers here. They're stuck in their ways. They got their belief system. They think what they think. You're not really going to change their minds, right? So why battle? Why argue? Why fight? Why have the conflict? Just kind of let it go. It's like, I always say it two plus two is five. All right, emperor, two plus two is five. Let's just move the fuck on. Um, and with the four of pentacles in reverse with this five of swords, it's just an energy of turning your back on that conflict and just realizing that they are who they are. It's not going to change, but there is an element of stress, worry, and anxiety because we have the eight of swords and we have the five of pentacles. So what do you want to say about the five of pentacles here for Sajet? Because it ends in harmony here. So, you know, you get there with this person, things are able to kind of settle down here, calm down, work themselves out. I believe there's that queen of swords with strong communication from you. Judgment. Okay. Ah. What the hell? <laughs> the same cards <laughs> flew out here. What the fuck's going on? Chariot, yeah. Okay, so the chariot's very much an energy of overcoming external obstacles in order to get what you want. What's under that? Yeah, the world. It is coming to an end. That much is good. So that's good news. Um, this conflict, this this difficult person, this energy that whatever's happening here, whether they're holding you back or just making things difficult in your life, it is coming to an end. You will find a way to create peace and harmony in this situation, Sag. You know, the chariot's overcoming external obstacles to get success. The, the world <laughs> is all about success. We got the biggest success rate in the house. Um, but it's completion. So this is coming to an end with this person. You know, maybe you've just realized, you know what, you know what, buddy, two plus two is five. You're right. The sky's purple. The sky's purple. Um, so it's just an element of making the choice, 
to just kind of turn your back on that. See how this queen's turning her back on that and she's just exploring ways, you know, maybe different communication styles, a different way of relating to this person, just letting them think they're right because sometimes that is just easier. You're right, buddy. Uh, that's just the feeling I get. You're right. Let's just move on. Um, there's no point. You know, the Five of Swords is very much an energy of nobody's going to win this battle, right? Because both people have their ideologies, their opinions. Um, and sometimes we just can't change people and their opinions. We just have to accept it and move on. And that's what this whole thing is about here. Yeah, Six of Swords, as I'm saying it, baby. The Six of Swords is an energy of just moving forward, just learning about this person, seeing, you know, what kind of person they are inside um, and just allowing yourself to progress forward because the Two of Cups is very much harmony. Harmony? Harmonious energy. So the friendship, the, the partnership, the, you know, co-workership, <laughs> whatever this energy is, is creating and coming to a place of harmony here. What else do you want to say about this Two of Cups energy? Eight of Swords. Yeah, that's his Swords. Yeah, just, oh. Oh, maybe some of you are going to walk away completely. There's a Page of Wands. Some of you might just completely remove this person from your life. Um, and sometimes you got to do what you got to do to create peace within yourself and within your energy. Um, some of you, I just feel like it's moving away from the attachments, whatever was said or done, right? Sometimes we just got to let it go and move on. And that's what that clean it up energy is. So I do feel for some of you, you're going to be like just walking away from this situation, from this person, maybe just removing them from your life completely. Um, and for others of you, I just think it's the attachment that you're going to be letting go. And when I say attachment, attachment to what happened, you know, just realizing, like I said, two plus two is five and just kind of letting it go and allowing yourself to progress forward. You just got to let the ghost of the past stay in the past and move forward to a creative, passionate new beginning. And that's what the Ace of Wands is. It's creation. It's passion. It's excitement. It's um, a fresh start, basically. What else do you want to say about this Ace of Wands here for Sajit? Yeah, you're going to get what you want. Yeah. Healing. Three of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Cups. So following your heart. Yeah, Six of Wands. Wow, you're definitely going to get what you want. It's going to play out in your favor here. And sometimes, again, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but they're just repeating this. They're just, you're going to, it's going to work out in your favor, baby. <laughs> the Three of Swords is in reverse. So you've kind of faced this part. You've learned your lesson. You've healed. You've let go of whatever was going on with this stubborn ass motherfucker over here. Um, and the Knight of Cups is an energy of forward movement. It's an energy of following your heart, being honest, being vulnerable, just kind of accepting things for as they are because you can't change people. You can't change what happened. The only thing you can do is change yourself going forward. And this is badass success. You know, the Six of Wands and the Nine of, excuse me, the Six of Wands and the Three of Wands is just turning your back on what doesn't serve you. Um, staying true to yourself, staying truthful with your honor and your integrity, you know, just being who you are and uh, knowing that you're going to be successful here. And sometimes you just got to trust your intuition, remove the reactions or even that energy of just wanting to, you know, wanting to be right. Sometimes we are right, but there's nothing we can do about it. And we just have to let that opinion go or that energy go. That's what this whole reading is about, Sag. <laughs> so be flexible. Whatever this conflict is with this stubborn ass person here, it is going to resolve and it'll resolve because you're going to let it resolve. It's going to end. It is going to be in your court. It is going to have to be you that kind of steps up um, and just makes that change and goes about doing things differently with this person and just realizing some of you, I do feel will cut them out completely. Others of you, you know, if you can't do that, or if you don't want to do that, you know, you're just going to kind of just kind of let it go. You know, no point in banging your head against the wall over and over and over and giving yourself a, a bruise. What's the point of that, man? What is the point of that? So that's coming to an end. You're going to be very at a place of peace here, Sag. So that's good news. That's great. <laughs> so let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot. See how you guys are doing in a month. What does Sag need to surrender to here? Yeah, non-action. Now is the time to be still and do not act. Breathe, focus on your power, and let others come to you. You know, some things are better left unsaid. You know what I'm saying? All right. What is the lesson here Sag is learning from this kind of difficult person they've encountered here? Forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Just gotta let it go, baby. Let it go. Shake it off. Just shake it off. That's what Taylor Swift says. <laughs> All right. Energy Oracle message for the Sag. What's the energy oracle message here, baby? Journey. Ooh, we got some. Ooh, goddess of the moon. That's what's up. Yeah. And then anxiety. You're worried about this though. And there's walking away. You're just gonna walk away from the worries. You know, you can't change it. You just got to compassionately accept it as it is and allow yourself to progress forward. The goddess of the moon is Isis energy. It's trusting your intuition. It's knowing that your intuition's right. Um, and it doesn't really matter what other people think. It really only matters what you think, quite frankly, right? And journey is a new adventure. 
So, but I feel like it's more of, of making the choice to kind of move past this and enter a new phase, right? We got the little fork in the road sign here. So it's just an energy. Maybe you're changing your jobs or maybe you are changing a connection of some sort because the journey can be a fresh start, a new beginning. Maybe some of you going on vacation, taking a little break here. Maybe that's what you need is just a vacation away from this motherfucker. Um, but either way, your intuition's guiding you. You're just kind of coming to a peace, but you're walking away from the worry, anxiety, and fear, right? And if we look in this card, the storm is in the distance. So that's in the past. Um, and you're just letting it go. That's, that's basically what this whole reading is about is let it go. You're just letting it go and you're just allowing yourself to move forward, right? Que sera, sera. <laughs> as stupid and cliche as it sounds, and I know it bugs a lot of people, but it's really true. You know, you just, you just gotta let it go sometimes. And that's what I feel you're doing here, Sag. So it's a beautiful thing. Peace and harmony. Well, let's talk about it. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will, baby. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, how are you in a month? Let's make sure things are going smooth. Are there any more hiccups here? What's up? What's up? What's up? How's Sajj? In a month. How they doing? It comes to this. King of Swords. Whoa. Six of Swords. Yeah. Temperance. The world. Wow. Okay. And yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. And there. That motherfucking Emperor's still here. He's still here. Star, there's healing. Oh, 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 maybe they've had a little change of heart here, baby. Um, I do see that's going down. I see um, it just maybe this person was just being stubborn. Maybe they're just testing you. Maybe they're just being a dick. But whatever the energy is here, Sag, this person's gone through some major transitions and healing here. The star and the emperor, um, you know, maybe sometimes putting that person in their place. Um, and when I say that, by, it means ignoring them. <laughs> maybe they were an attention seeker, just trying to get some attention. You know what I'm saying? We all know those people. Um, but that's coming to an end. You've performed inner alchemy here. The world and the, the temperance is just about that, inner alchemy. It's using the tools and the resources. It's coming from a place of love, compassion, understanding. But it recognizes an old cycle being done and a new cycle here. Some of you might be moved, maybe had to move or maybe had to change a job because the Six of Swords is very much a transitional card. But it's also the card of moving from rocky waters to smoother waters. It's the card of learning your lesson, seeing the lesson. It is not worth it sometimes to bang your head against the wall with this motherfucker. Um, just let it be. Um, and sometimes that's what these people need too, right? To know that they can do, they, that you're not going to engage. You're not, they're not going to get to you. It's just, um, they can't push your buttons. You know, the King of Swords does tell us that there's strong communication. The King of Swords is very much the King of mental stimulation. Um, but he's the King of communication. He's also the King of coldness. So I think your aloofness, I think your lack of caring, um, it kind of made this person have a change of heart. You know what I'm saying? They just made them look at things differently. Maybe they went some realizations within because maybe you dealt with them differently than other people have dealt with them in the past. Sometimes stubborn people are stubborn to get their way and, and they didn't get their way. <laughs> um, and the Knight of Pentacles tells me that this was a slow process. You were patient, you were determination, but your patience and determination paid off. The way you dealt with this was very much boss energy, Sag. You did it like a pro. You handled it like the Sag that you are. Like I said, I feel like this person's had a little bit of a change in heart and I feel like they're coming around. Um, and that's why I feel with this is they're coming around. Maybe they're softening their communication. Maybe they're changing their perspective. Maybe they're changing their point of view or maybe they're just loosening up a little bit and not being so rigid and uptight or whatever that energy, whatever the hell they were doing back. Yeah, um, it's definitely moving forward. They've come around. They've had a change of heart. They've gone through a little bit of a process here and it's because you handled them like a boss. So Saji, that's what's up. That's what's going on. That's what I got. So... If you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support, Sajay. Truly, truly do. Let's close your reading off today with a, just a final message here. Yeah. The greatest tool of self-love is self-awareness. Once you truly know yourself, love is the only option. Choose one part of yourself that you normally don't focus on. Elevate it. That's what I got, baby. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.